Okay, are statins leading to dementia? So a study in the American Journal of Geriatric Pharmacology tested whether statin drugs worsen dementia in patients with Alzheimer's. After discontinuing the statin for six weeks and then reintroducing them for six weeks, they made a discovery. They found that there was an improvement in cognitive function when they discontinued the statins and when they put them back on, their cognition got worse. And they concluded that statins may adversely affect cognition in patients with dementia. Now, what about if statins contribute to dementia? First, it's important to realize that our brain is about 20% cholesterol. An article in Translational Neurodegeneration highlighted the controversy publishing an article about the risk and benefits for dementia. They concluded that limited evidence suggests that decreased risk of dementia seen with statins may be limited to patients with hyperlipidemia in midlife. These patients are probably just those that have familial hypercholesterolemia. Because the brain makes its own cholesterol, it has been thought that lowering cholesterol in the blood wouldn't affect the brain. However, some research now suggests that statins can cross the blood-brain barrier. Blood-brain barriers are also more permeable when a person is inflamed or after, say, a head injury. The authors conclude that statin use during these times could result in potentially lowering cholesterol below the level required for normal cognitive function. So basically, if statins lower the brain's cholesterol, that's bad and promotes dementia. Are all statins the same? No. Some are lipophilic, meaning they are fat-loving or dissolved in fat. This includes torvastatin and simvastatin, two of the most popular statins. An examination of this issue was published in the Journal of Pharmacovigilance looking at whether the type of statin made a difference in dementia outcomes. This paper showed that the risk of dementia was far higher with lipophilic statins. What about when we age? The doctors these days seem to want to put everyone over 40 on some sort of cholesterol-lowering drug like a statin, certainly those over 60. A study in the journal of Neurology looked at cholesterol and dementia after 70 years of age. And what did they find? Well, they found out that high cholesterol levels were associated with less dementia later in life. Another article in JAMA Neurology looked at a 26-year window of cholesterol levels. They looked at whether cholesterol went up or down, and whether dementia or Alzheimer's develop. What did they find? Well, in those people who developed dementia, their cholesterol levels had declined 15 years before the diagnosis. The conclusion of this study was that a decline in serum total cholesterol levels may be associated with early stages in the development of dementia. It's hard to argue with nature. Maybe there's a reason our brains are one-fifth cholesterol. We can get into whether lowering cholesterol in people without familial hypercholesterolemia even makes a difference to heart attack risk, but we'll save that for another video. All right, do you know somebody who's developed dementia and simultaneously was on statin usage? Did their cognitive function change after they started on these statins? Do you know someone whose memory has improved on a carnivore diet? Let me know in the comments, guys. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about this or cholesterol, check out this video uh, where we talk about that as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the next video.